Code YouTube, I'm Mosey Designer here. Going to be starting my first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial for you guys. So I did this in the past in a, with UDK. I built a level from scratch, step by step. I think it was like a seven to eight part video on my old channel, which I've been locked out of. Uh, good for me. Uh, anyways, uh, that tutorial still exists. Uh, if you just search Mosey Level Design Tutorial, it's quite outdated. But I figured I'd kind of get back in the groove of doing that and sharing uh, how to use uh, Unreal Engine 4 for you guys. So when you start up Unreal Engine 4, you're presented with this screen that has uh, two chairs and a table. Uh, it may not look like this because I'm in unlit mode. I can just change the lit. I'll show you how guys do that later. Um, so this is what it probably looks like when you start up Unreal Engine 4. So to get started for the tutorial, we're just going to go to File, New, and select Default. So you're presented with a flat surface and a player start. You're like, okay, now what? So the first thing to do is learning how to navigate the viewport. Most of the viewport controls are done with the mouse. So if you hold the left mouse button and move your mouse, you kind of can pan forward and backwards and look around from the point that you are standing at. If I hold the right mouse button and move my mouse, I can kind of arc the camera up and down and kind of spin in a full 360 degrees. If I hold both mouse buttons and move my mouse I can pan up and down and side to side. If I hold my right mouse button and use WSD I can fly around the entire scene kind of control it like a first-person shooter camera. I use this mode the most. Cool. So that's the basics of navigating uh, the scene. Now, some people may be familiar with uh, Hammer or maybe Unity or other tools that have multiple viewports. If that is the case, you can set up multiple viewports in Unreal Engine 4. Just go to Window, Viewports, and you have the option to add uh, three more viewports. So I'll just add two more. So in these viewports, I can set uh, let's say I want the top view, just in the top left corner of each viewport there's these buttons and I can just click on the first one and select top and maybe select right side. So I can see the top of my scene and again the same camera controls apply. I can use the right mouse button, use my mouse wheel to zoom in and out and just kind of see my scene from different perspectives. Me personally, I just like working in the full screen mode so I'm just going to get rid of these. In the full screen mode, you can change again what you're looking at. If you go to this top left corner over here where it says perspective, I can change this to my top view, bottom view, left view, right view, front, back, and again to perspective. Uh, the next thing is the way the scene is rendered. Right now, it is rendered in lit mode with the basic dominant directional light and atmospheric fog. I'll go over the settings of these things later. But for now, you can just uh, go to uh, where it says lit, this little button, and change it to unlit. You can also change it to the wireframe mode. You can change it to detail lighting only, lighting only, and the scene reflections. And I can click on it and go back to my lit mode. Now the next thing to understand in Unreal is how to move things, rotate things, and scale things. So I click on this little uh, square, it has an orange highlight and a widget shows up. That is the move widget. It has an arrow in the Z axis, an arrow in the Y axis, and an arrow in the X axis. Now if I hit spacebar, it's a short hotkey, uh, I can go to my rotation tool which has rotation again in the Y axis, X axis, and Z axis. If it's spacebar again, I come to my scale tool. I can scale in the Z axis, I can scale the y-axis and the x-axis, and this centerpiece is a global scale. Hit spacebar, come back to my move tool. Now, to move an object, I just have to left-click and hold on any part of the widget. As you can see, the cursor turns into a hand holding that widget. And I just, with my mouse button held down, left mouse button, slide this thing around the x-axis. I can slide around the y, 
and Z. Hitting spacebar, I go to my rotation tool. Again, uh, left click and hold any part of the widget and move your mouse to rotate in that axis. Spacebar again. Lastly, you have the scale tool. Same thing, if I left click and hold on any part of the widget, I will scale in that direction. Now, you may be wondering, how do I actually change the actual settings of how much I want to move, how much I want to rotate, and how much I want to scale? As you can see, when I was scaling, it was quite large. If you go up to the top right corner, you have these tools. You have your grid, your rotation, and your scale. Right now, my grid is set to uh, uh, 5 unreal units. My rotation is set to 5 degrees, and my scale is 10 tenfold. So let's work with scale first. Uh, use spacebar to change to my scale tool and then I'll click on this where it says 10 and I can change this to 0.5 so now I'm scaling by half and if I hold and left click any part of the scale tool you see I have more granular control on how I want to scale this asset next I have rotation right now it's set to 5 degrees spacebar come to my rotation tool left click and hold you can see the amount is changing by every five degrees 30 35 40 45 etc go back to zero let's say I just want to exactly change to 45 degrees without having uh, the fine control I can click on where it says five degrees and change it to 45 so each rotation will actually be a perfect 45 degree snap very handy but if you want more finer control, you can again change it back to 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15, and so on. You can also do divisions of 360. I really don't mess with that. I just stay in the common uh, donation uh, denominations of rotation. Usually 5 degrees works the best. Lastly, we have our move. And right now I'm set to 5 unreal units. I can change this to uh, 10 unreal units. And uh, each move, it will be 10 unreal units in any direction. Right now, it's set to powers of 10, which is not very handy in most old design situations. Powers of 2 are better, 2, 4, 16, 8, 32, 64, 128, and so on. And I'll show you how to do that uh, down the road when we're actually building something cool. But for now, powers of 10 is just fine to get started. Now, Another thing you can do is also manually change the location, rotation, and scale of an object. To do that, have your object selected, make sure it has the orange boundary, and you'll have a details panel on the right. Here, you have a location, rotation, and scale. Don't worry about mobility right now, I'll cover this later in another tutorial. So, if I want to just put this back to default, I can just type in 0 for my location on x, y, and Z. On my rotation, I can set it back to a zero scale rotation. And my scale is one, so kind of back to where I started. Now, on the scale tool, there are two ways to do global scaling if you need to. One is to just hold this, uh, hold and left click the center part of the uh, move uh, scale tool, or you can actually manually type it on the details panel so I can type in if I want to just scale a certain amount in each direction instead of a global scale I can do two scale in the x-axis I can do a three scale in the y and a four scale in the z and you can see it, it's made those changes I can go back to my default one one and one and let's say I globally want to scale this the same value in all axes. So I just can lock my scale by clicking this little lock tool at the far right corner of scale and type in a value of 2. The whole thing scales by 2. 6, the whole thing scales by 6. Uh, 0.5, the whole thing scales by 0.5. 1, back to normal. And I can unlock it to make sure I don't globally scale it by accident when building the scene. 
So that's kind of the basics of how to navigate the viewport, how to move, rotate, and scale an asset. Now using those, combining all those together, I'll make a simple box room. So to make this started, we'll just uh, click on our uh, square here with the move tool selected. Um, a fun shortcut is to clone pieces to build fast. So what I like to do is you hold alt and left click on any part of the move tool and I can clone this exact shape and snap it into place. I can hit spacebar and rotate this go back to my move tool again by hitting space for a shortcut and just line that into place again I can alt and left click this part of the move tool and clone this in this direction and I do that a third time and then hit spacebar and rotate 90 degrees using my uh, move, uh, right click, WSD, kind of getting different angle, right click and hold with WSD, sorry, uh, and using my space bar to get to my move tool again, I can snap this wall into place, and then I can alt, left click and hold this part of the move tool and drag this wall into place, and I have a box room. Kind of hard to see right now because I have lighting on and shadows are being casted. Uh, I don't have the right light settings to make this look good. So for now, what we can do is just go to where it says lit in the top left corner and change it to unlit. And there you have it. You have your first box room in Unreal Engine 4. Hooray! Using this method, you can actually gray box a space very fast. So hopefully this was informative to get you started on the basics of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, please comment and subscribe. If there's anything you need uh, answers to, please leave a question in the comments below. I will do my best to get to them. Also, if I covered something that it didn't make sense, please let me know and I will try to reiterate the point in future videos. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.